everybody. You're back in my kitchen. I'm waiting for supper to cook here, so I thought I'd whip up a quick batch of muffins uh, while we're waiting and uh, kind of kill two birds with one stone. So I thought I'd pop on and show you some of my very favorite things uh, for baking from Pampered Chef. So I actually pulled out one of each of my pans because I love them all. <laughs> This is the waffle stick pan, and I know it's nice to see them in person too, isn't it? This is the waffle stick pan. It's got the beautiful blue on it. Um, they're perfect for waffle sticks. I've heard of people making um, jello Lego bricks in here. How genius is that, hey? These pans wash up so nicely. Here's the brownie bite pan. It's really nice too for, you know, you can make little egg portions or brownies, little cakes, whatever you're, whatever you're thinking. This is the mini loaf pan and it's also got the, the blue back as well. I love this guy. This guy's nice for uh, when ground beef is on sale. I'll grab a bunch of it and make um, portions of meatloaf in here and freeze them. So easy things for everyone to pull out of the freezer for an on-the-go uh, quick meal or for nights when I'm not feeling like making supper. <laughs> Here's the donut pan and it's also in the pretty blue. These are amazing. It's nice to make your own homemade donuts. And we've also got the mini tart pan or mini muffin pan rather, but it's good for tarts as well. These are such nice quality. They all are. And they, they've got a nice non-stick finish as well. Muffin tins. Every woman needs a set of good muffin tins in her kitchen. I can't tell you how long I cooked with old, gross, rusty things. I'm embarrassed to say that, but never again. I love the Pampered Chef ones. They're beautiful. What I do too, when I'm done using them, I wash them up, I towel dry them, and then I pop them in my oven for, uh, for just a few minutes just to get the moisture out of it because they are heavier too, hey? And you know, sometimes moisture gets in there and I don't want them to rust out like my old ones. So I make sure I look after them. And this is the brand new donut hole pan and it's in the pretty blue as well. This is so fun, so much fun. Um, and you can just use a regular cake mix. You can buy the donut mix now too. It's a brand new item from Pampered Chef uh, for spring and summer. But you could just use your cake mix too, and uh, or from scratch or whatever. I couldn't believe how well, and I should know because they're all like that. The donut holes just pop right out. It's amazing, you guys. Okay, and the famous brownie pan. Who's got one of these in their kitchen? I love the brownie pan. If you like um, crunchy, uh, crunchy sides on all sides of your brownie, you need this pan. It's also great for um, uh, making little egg cups or meatloaf or muffins, whatever you want. And like I said, these pans are non-stick and they're beautiful. I also wanted to show you, I always talk about my sheet pans. This one's well loved. This is the sheet pan. I think this is the large one from Pampered Chef. I do, they're so, they're a nice heavy gauge. I do all my cookie baking on these. And I also do like one pan meals in the oven. I roast vegetables on here. I, if I'm doing French fries in my oven, I do them on these sheet pans. They come in three different sizes. We're a bigger family, so um, I do have the other sizes as well, but I find I use this big one the most. It's awesome, same thing. When I'm done washing, I dry it and put it in the oven uh, just, to, just to get rid of any of that extra moisture, just to look after them. So I'm going to make some very, very quick muffins here because supper isn't too far away. So I want to get these, hopefully those don't fall, <laughs> in the oven um, before supper's ready. <clears throat> so here's my muffin pan and I here is the Pampered Chef spritzer. This is called a kitchen spritzer. I've just got my regular uh, canola oil in here, canola or vegetable. I forget. Anyways, those sprays that you buy at the store um, that are pressurized, they've got some really, really bad chemicals in them. And they've also got silicone in them. So if you are spraying your any of your pans at home, your frying pans, your cookie sheets, whatever, 
with those sprays, you are going to get a sticky buildup on your pans if you haven't already. Um, I will not use that stuff anymore, won't. So the kitchen spritzer has replaced it and it's just regular oil in there. You pump the handle to pressurize it. I just had to refill mine so it's, there we go. And then I'm just going to take it and spray until I can't spray no more. And when I can't spray no more, I just put the top back on and pump it up. Pump up that pressure again. I did it all. An important thing to know about these kitchen spritzers, when you're done using them and you're gonna pop them back in your cupboard, you're gonna to wanna to burp them. So just release the rest of that pressure, put the lid back on tight, put the lid down, and then uh, it's good for good until next time. If you don't, it could bubble out the bottom, so you don't want to do that. Okay, so I've got my muffin pan prepared. Now, some of my favorite baking tools that I use. This is the classic batter bowl. It is an eight cup bowl. No, I think I'm lying to you. I'm not lying to you. <laughs> it is the eight one. There's also a smaller one that's a four cup. I've got two of those to her great. Comes with a nice cover so you can, you know, store your things in the fridge if you need to. So I've got that. I'm not going to use these, but I wanted to show you because they're my favorites. These are the adjustable measuring spoons. I believe this set, what is it, $15 to $18, something like that. I should have said too. All those pans, they run about $30 each. They're amazing. They've got... Uh, Got some warranty and uh, a pamper Jeff consultant comes to them too. If you ever have any trouble with them, you get a hold of me, I'll help you. Anyways, the adjustable measuring spoons this one's a tablespoon, this one's a teaspoon, and it will go down to one teaspoon. And this one goes down to an eighth of a teaspoon. So they're perfect. And my other favorites, these are the Easy Read measuring cups. You can buy them individually, or you can buy them in a set of four. So the big one, and if you can see, they've got the measurements right on them in milliliters, cups, and ounces. So this one's four cups, and then you've got the two cup, the one cup, and this guy is four tablespoons. So he's the cutest little thing ever. Anyways, these are well used in my kitchen. Okay, I've got my can opener here. I'm gonna do it on the side you can see. I have just a can of pumpkin and a spice cake mix. That's all. Easy peasy, no messing around. Oops, what's going on? There we go. I'm just gonna open up my can of pumpkin here with this can opener. And you'll hear me talk about this can opener a lot because I absolutely love it. Like I said, I've gone through so many can openers over the years. These little pinchers pop the lid off like that. There's no sharp edges. There's nothing getting into my can of pumpkin. Easy peasy. I'm just going to dump that into my batter bowl. I've got the big, uh, big mix and scraper here. I thought that was going to flop out a little easier. Do you guys like pumpkin? I love pumpkin. And I have a couple, I usually try to have a couple cans on hand just because this, this recipe is so quick and so easy. Everybody's busy, right? The quicker we can get stuff done in the kitchen, the happier we are. Okay, I've got my spice cake mix here. I'm just going to use my kitchen shears. These are the Pamper Chef kitchen shears. They are amazing. They have a lifetime warranty, you guys. Have a look at them as well. They will actually cut bone and cheesecloth. <laughs> so there, I'm just going to dump my spice cake mix here. I was kind of tossing up adding some raisins into this, but I couldn't find my raisins. And I suppose if I took a little more time I could find them but I didn't want to <laughs> no raisins today isn't there a joke about that the, you make make muffins and your kids think there's chocolate chips in them but it's raisins <laughs> my kids like raisins too I think but 
chocolate chips are better. There, so I'm just giving this a, a little mix. Nothing major. Making sure it's all mixed in. Now these are going to be really moist. Um, I've got the great big can of pumpkin, but the, the regular size will work too. Just these ones I know are going to be a little more moist. But they both be really good. I love a spice cake mix too. There, just give it a quick quick blend here, making sure all the dry stuff is stirred in, and then I'm going to take my muffin pan. Now the cookie scoops. These are famous. <laughs> Everybody loves the scoops. I don't know where my large one is, it's here somewhere, um, but I've got my medium scoop and my small scoop. So the small one, you can make nice small cookies, meatballs, um, things like that. The medium one, same thing, if you like a little bit bigger meatballs. Um, I use this one for cookies, but I also use it to portion out, oh my lighting's terrible, here you guys, to portion out stuff like this because it's so quick, so easy, there's no mess, there's um, you know, nothing worse than cleaning your muffin pans. What's going on, buddy? Afterwards, you've got dribbles and drabs all over your pan. I always just say this. The easier the cleanup is, the happier I am too. So these scoops just make a huge difference. So yeah, again, they come in three sizes. I think they range from, oh gosh, what is it, $22, $24, $25. Me on that, you guys. I'm not telling my memory's not as good as it once was, but yeah, you can follow um, follow the link too and, and have a look at all the prices of these. But if you're into baking or whatever, check out the baking tools, you guys. They have just amazing tools. There, I'm gonna pop those in the oven and then we'll eat supper and then they'll hopefully. Be done, we'll have them for dessert. Thanks for watching.